and uh, Efua Aqua Harrison is yes. here. I like your name though. <laughs> Efua. I know why you're mentioning that right now. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to say what I wanted yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are we uh, so talking till, about today? So till January 5th, it seems. We're waiting. We're right? waiting. Yeah. Mm. But let me ask you, um, how did you first hear of the news? The Ruby... Eduje Fikum Nayeleo. Yeah, I, I, I saw it on Facebook. You saw it on Facebook. I wasn't sure, you know, because there were a lot of inconsistencies in the story mm -hmm. as it was, mm -hmm. it was breaking. Mm -hmm. So I kept following it for a while, trying to check from people to see is this true? Is this, is and this then not the true? The story yeah. started coming in. So yeah. mainly Facebook. Mainly Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is what we are doing today. We're actually talking about how uh, the issue broke mm -hmm. on social media. And so let me just run down. Um, Ruby, Amethafe, Edu Jemfi, Nayele. I'm hearing some people are saying it's not Nayele, it's Nayel. But whatever it is, apart from coverage of the issue on mainstream media like ours, I, for one, like Steve, got quite a bit of information on the cocaine saga on social media. So, do you believe everything you see on social media? Should you? Social media has become a very powerful tool, especially in the reportage of the Ruby Nayele Amethepe case. We will be sharing some of the social media headlines and we want to hear from you. What kind of information have you received on the issue on social media? I'm Ifwa Kwa Harrison. This is your most interactive half hour. I will be right back. Joy News Interactive is brought to you in association with Surfline. It's about time. Join us on social media. We're on Facebook.com at Joy News on TV. Um, it's the same for Twitter at Joy News on TV or JN Interactive GH. Also send us an email. It's Joy News I am at multitvworld.com or send your messages through on WhatsApp. It's 054-010-9009. Number again is 54 9009 And remember, Surfline proudly supports Jen Interactive. Surfline, it's about time. Now, here at Joy News, especially on Jen Interactive, we give you the opportunity to express your views via social media. Now, news has taken a different turn, especially with the cocaine bust issue, which has been trending for over two weeks. Here's a rundown of what Jen Interactive gathered from social media platform WhatsApp over the Ruby cocaine saga. pictures were going around about the sort of high life Ruby was living. Um, some even, you know, uh, associate her with some people in government. I mean, this is all coming out on WhatsApp and uh, that's what was shared on WhatsApp. Um, so how big a role did social media play in giving you information on the cocaine bust and do you believe everything you see or read on social media okay i can't say for sure what is in the matter but just for what i'm hearing the development yes it's interesting because day in a day out you get new uh, information from social media from the cocaine saga and so i can't say for sure what's in it the truth in it but this is what we get from social media, so we take it. Actually, I received um, pictures from on 
this issue from on 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 had it not been social media most of us will be living in doom in a sense that we may not know what is happening today this government spokesperson is saying that tomorrow this person is saying that the next day that person is saying that but through social media we used to get other verses of the, of the information we sit down to do our own analysis to see between the public and government who, who is saying the truth Your views from the streets. So how exactly can you tell if social media information is true or not? Especially since sharing info is so easy these days. Well, let's go on to Skype. I speak to blogger Elvis Ativo. Um, he tells us what he thinks about the issue. Welcome to Joy News Interactive. And Elvis, tell us from the time the story about Ruby's bus broke Social media went wild with pictures, conspiracy theories, and all sorts of information about her and who she could have been involved with. First off, what kind of information did you yourself receive on social media platforms about the issue? Foremost, uh, came out that uh, a Ghanaian has been busted in the, the UK, Heathrow, uh, for carrying uh, a huge sums of, of cocaine on her, and she was a uh, alleged and believed to be connected to government. For me, that was how the story came to me first, that uh, she was somebody that was close to uh, the power base of government. And so uh, that was my first uh, impression of the news. Yes, a Ghanaian was involved. This is by WhatsApp? Yes, it came through uh, WhatsApp for me. And then subsequently, uh, I went to, to Facebook uh, to verify and then trust me it was all over okay now this year a lot of news has broken on social media i mean um just last week they shared the story about this poor two-year-old in uganda who was maltreated by her maid how can people tell if social media information that they re they receive is true or not elvis Well, I think that uh, social media uh, has come to stay with us. Uh, there is a risk and there is the potential that sometimes some stories posted on social media uh, may not be entirely correct. Uh, but uh, from what I have seen about social media interactions, uh, you can be fairly sure that over 80% of the stories that are put on social media uh, often turns out to be true. Uh, for example, the Ugandan story, uh, initially when it came through social media, uh, I got it through WhatsApp, mm. I was like, wow, this could not be true. But suddenly you have thousands of your friends uh, sending the same message across to you, and suddenly you are made to, to want to look more closely and, and look at the issue in detail instead of dismissing it. So for me, uh, based on my contact line, the class of friends that I have, and the reliability of the information that they have shared with me over time uh, to some extent give me comfort and confidence in whatever information they put across to me. For example, uh, I have a friend that works with maybe the BNI mm. uh, and that we share information at a certain level more closely most of the time. And so when this, this is what is ongoing. And so based on my sources, I am able to fairly trust the information that come across to me on social media. There are some also that turns out to be fake, but for me, uh, when I look at my, the profile of my friends and the reliability of the information that they have shared with me over time, uh, I place over 80% of reliance on whatever they put in my box. All right, thank you very much. I've been speaking with Elvis Ativo via Skype. He is a blogger. He's been giving us his two cents on how he sifts through social media information. We'll catch up with your comments on social media, what you think of the issue, what kind of information you have been getting on social media about the Ruby cocaine saga after this. <music> And 
you are still watching Jen Interactive with me, Ifwa Akwa Harrison. Today we've been talking about how social media covered the cocaine saga, the Ruby Edu Jemfi bust. Um, as you may know by now, she has pleaded guilty and um, her case has been adjourned to January um, the 5th, 2015. So um, let's go on to social media. Uh, we've been asking um, what sort of information you were getting on the um, bust, actually, from social media and let me just go through a few of your comments here very quickly you can also join me via whatsapp it's buzzing already i hope i'll have time to read a few of your comments as well on whatsapp but let's quickly go on to facebook and justice okonfanuchi says um five million us dollars to be paid up front that was delivered just before the hearing um, three million is due after sentencing and the final five million is due in November 2016 or else she's spilling the beans and d justice you say this information came just before the sentencing but I, I think okay so this is information you received via social media on the issue Alberta Puplampu you said you've been receiving dubious information on the issue uh, in Bobani, Samuel says, some of us have been getting austerity and plausible lies from WhatsApp. Skeletal information from government keeps on confusing us, especially Hannah Tete. What she said last time on Radio Gold amounted to pathetic rationalization of intellectual injustice and hence cannot pass the test of truth. We are not kids. So that's from in Bobani, Samuel. Um, Jerry Bakuri says, um, very poor. In fact, the media needs to be civil in their presentation. Jerry, we are talking about social media and what kind of information you are getting on social media. Isaku Abdulaziz says, linking it to people who have nothing to do with such substances. She pleaded guilty, people showing their ignorance in parliament. So, Isa Haku, that's the kind of information you were getting on social media. Um, Baba Musa Tamal Tamale says, social media is a good platform meant for good and productive business engagement, interaction and information sharing. Unfortunately, some dubious and faceless characters usually hide behind this platform to churn out all manner of information. Um, then you go on to talk a bit about it being um, tied to one party or another, especially the big parties, uh, uh, the two main uh, or the main opposition party, uh, to say that they have deliberately twisted the facts about this cocaine case to suit their selfish interest. Um, social media has unfortunately become the dumping site for all manner of garbage and chaff it is quite unfortunate. Game says, I read she pleaded guilty of, um, of the charges labeled against her. Well, being in a UK prison is far better than having <laughs> your freedom in Ghana. Game, are you sure? Um, New Aqua God knows Billy says, confusing stories. The media is only helping um, both parties continue to play their dirty politics with this sensitive issue. Uh, Emmanuel Martin Uredu Obrempong says social media helps us know what's going on and I mean updates inside Kweutafu. Okay. Samuel Kabute, you say you expect accurate information from social media. Majid Awudu, you say, hmm, if I when two elephants are fighting, it is only the, gra the grass that suffers. Uh, Junior Labs Camry says, hmm, to be honest, the reportage on the cocaine saga seems to go on unabated. Now some pictures of a certain nude lady being purported to be Miss Amethepe. Anywhere I heard she, had an, she has an Aust Austrian passport and I don't understand why it's our business. Okay. Um, but yeah, those, those pictures have been going around too. We didn't... Um, 
show those to you. But yeah, these are um, some of your comments coming through on social media um, about what or how the case was reported to you. So how do you feel out there on the streets about social media breaking news? Your views again. It's been helpful. Okay, not all of us get to know uh, this issue. Okay, but social media keeps updating us. Okay, not only through uh, see now on this social media we have uh, radio also representing on social media or television. So when you follow all the social medias on, on uh, all these uh, publications, okay, media houses from on the social media. You get updated, okay. Once in a while, you get updated, and it's interesting. And I'll say it's positive as well, as to how the development of the cocaine saga, okay, how social media is contributing to this, to informing us. I think social media as a whole, okay, actually has a good side, and on the other side, it also has a bad side. But. The problem arises when you don't use it for the benefit of the society and the benefit of the people, and we use it badly, and that's where the problem comes from. And on the other hand, with the cocaine saga that it's be with that Ghana here, actually, I think um, it also has a very bad effect on Ghana image as a whole on the international market. Okay. Social media, social media, social media is a thing that has come to us actually to help us in our diverse ways, but people are misusing the social media because. Might be on the net. You you gather some information, and you might not know the sender. People will be using strange names such as Rasta, Shito, and other things, and they posting certain things onto the net that you don't even know the root of um, where the uh, or the source of uh, those informations. Probably with images, yes, they do several editings. People are there doing several editings. They can even pick the picture of, um, let me say, one celebrity without their face and write certain things about the celebrity that is not even true and they are doing it to other people as well uh, to some of us who are on social media it is helping us to know what is happening in this country and then also looking at it there are certain pertinent information which people in authority don't want the citizens to get to know of it but through social media we are be, we get to know all those information and then also it also helps us to know what is happening in terms of the negative aspects, uh, uh, looking at it, we don't expect certain Nordic pictures to, to be on social media. But I see that, that it varies from individuals to individuals. People fancy it to show it what, is, what they are doing, how prominent or uh, how fancy they are, and also how pompous they are, because they see themselves as they are more better off than others. So why don't I put this on, this on social media? To see how many people comment on this and to see how many how many people like it or how many people don't like it. Your views from the streets and one final comment from Facebook, Simon Kugo Riamo says social media has now become social pollutant. They tell us stories they are not sure of. Right now, I don't depend on social media for any better information. This pak 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 news. We'll be right back. <laughs> And we are back on GN Interactive. Let me just take a few of your WhatsApp comments. Magzi from Bimbila, you say, all oh, my updates are from social media, from government communicators' mess up to the dissolution of the NACO board and now the trial in court today. The whole saga is getting interesting. God save Ghana. So that's from Magzi from Bimbila. Uh, this cocaine issue is not a movie where viewers should be imaginative at scenes. Information I receive on social media is 99% accurate. This is a nameless one. Another nameless one, Na Yele, is, has really disgraced our country. And I want to believe that the truth of the matter will surface. 
even though hearing is set on January 5th, I want to know that all those who are involved will be prosecuted as such. And that's my final comment coming in from Max from Laura. Let me see if I can read one more. Um, there's much lies on this social media. This is another nameless comment also coming through on WhatsApp. Uh, thank you so much for sending your comments through. Remember to add your name and location. Um, only dirty politics is destroying the good image of Ghana. Only God can intervene. That's from Samuel from in Quanta. So that's your comment coming through on WhatsApp. So uh, that's how we um, wrap up on this issue, how the how social media reported the Nyale Na Nayele Nayel cocaine saga. But I have picture of the day for you. Let's have a look. Oh my God! <laughs> it's like Steve, a that was picture of the day. Oh um, actually, that came right after the Ugandan baby. So the caption under it is uh, "child abuse." That's abuse. serious. That's a puppy's like. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so she's picking on someone who is really like a fraction of her size. Yeah, I know. I yeah. Magic. Something else from social media. Oh my God. That's a Ghanaian nanny, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bullying a, 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 a mongrel. <laughs> Poor thing. That looks photoshopped, though. That looks photoshopped. That's a, oh, no, it looks real. It looks real. That's true. Hey, I'm being told it's real. It's Look true. at the dog's hand. <laughs> <laughs> the dog, the puppy has been pooping him behind <laughs> her. <laughs> She's more like instilling some discipline yeah, into the puppy. Yeah. My name is Steve Lenz. My name is Ifua Kwa Harrison. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a good evening. Join News Interactive was brought to you in association with Surfline. It's about time.